What's up guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we're trying to get our Kethane mission underway. Um, like I said last episode, I went ahead and ended the other episodes. I reverted them back to the, uh, the space plane hangar and all that good stuff. So um, I figure um, with those failures, our mission is a go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm fairly confident that I, I got the gist of the Kethane mods and everything going on. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and um, launch a probe. Uh, we're going to call it Moon Hope. We're going to go ahead and launch a, uh, a Cathane Mapper probe um, and do the same thing but around the moon this time. Um, so that's what this episode is going to, going to be. Um, is me just going ahead and getting it up into orbit and everything. I didn't speed any parts up. What I did though is I went ahead and just edited them. Because last time with me uh, um, speeding everything up, um, it took me about three hours to render it out in 720p. So that was just a little too ridiculous. Um, so I, uh, instead of having a lot of uh, compressed uh, time, I just went ahead and chopped the video up just to save time. So I just went ahead and highlighted the, uh, um, or left in the highlights of, of the mission. Everything went pretty smoothly. Uh, I still don't know the most, um, let's see, efficient way to get into a polar orbit. Um, but I, I can do it. It just takes me a few, you know, few orbits to go ahead and do it. So, um, yeah, see, you know, I'm using the same uh, setup as I, I used to actually get it around the uh, Kerbin, um, uh, get the the probe into Corbin orbit. Uh, I figured I had plenty of time left, uh, or not time, plenty of fuel left in my uh, um, atomic engine or Nerva, whatever it's called, stage, to go ahead and get me to the moon. And I still have plenty of fuel left, as you'll see. Um, later on, once we actually get into uh, the moon, uh, a polar moon orbit, so um, I'm I'm par fairly confident that this could actually probably, if I if I conserve a little bit more fuel and actually um, worry about the fuel economy, I could probably use it to get to uh, Minmus and get a, into a Minmus orbit um, uh, if we ever wanted to map there and uh, um, mine from there. But uh, that that's that's for a later date. So yeah. Um, so yeah, just like I said, just the basic stuff here, you know, get into orbit and go ahead and, uh, I went ahead and circulize it. Um, eh, I didn't, I didn't get it perfectly circular, which is fine with me. If I, if I get it within, you know, plus or minus, uh, 10 kilometers or so, I call it good. You know, I'm not going for these super precise orbits. I'm not trying to rendezvous with it, so, I mean, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just, once it gets up there, it's pretty much going to stay. It's, it does its own thing. So, I, I don't even worry about that around the moon either. Um, so yeah, uh, I probably just throw up a little bit of music um, and come back uh, towards the end and describe what I, I hope to do um, uh, with the, the next few missions. We're actually going to send a manned mission next, but uh, that, I'll talk to more about that towards the end of the episode. <laughs>
yep, that, that's pretty much uh, the the whole gist of uh, the flight here. Um, it was pretty much uh, non eventful. You see, I got me a nice little 90 degree, a uh, little, little bit more than 90 degree uh, inclination. So we're pretty pretty much at a polar um, polar orbit there. Now I'm just uh, uh, adjusting. I find out that the uh, I'm too far out. Um, for the Cathane mapper to actually work because I don't have the uh, the big one I have the uh, little mapper um, I forget the name of it or whatever but it's the smaller uh, the smaller one and so what I do is I, I, I'll bring the 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 apoapsis and periapsis and I think I'll try to get it around uh, 100 kilometers and I end up I think being 108 and 98 and like I said within 10 kilometers I I call good it's still uh, circular enough for me and the purpose of this mission we're not trying to dock with it or anything so Alright, so with that said, with the next few missions, what we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to send a small lander um, to the surface of, uh, of the moon. But what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to let the uh, Cathay mapper go for a little while. And once I find a, a fairly decent sized pocket, hopefully around the equator, um, and an interestingly, uh, interestingly enough terrain around or whatever, so we can actually send some rovers and do some other quote unquote science research while we're here. Um, we're going to find a, a, a cool landing spot like that, and then we're going to land a small little lander. Um, so I have a reference point. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and plant the mission flag and everything like that. And then we're, what we're going to do is start building the uh, um, the 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 stations. Um, and it, while doing that, we'll probably send more more missions to the surface of the moon, so the guy won't be alone. Um, maybe send a rover or two as well to get that uh, taken care of. But uh, that's that's what I'm going to do in the near future. Is go ahead and send send the manned mission to the surface of the moon, um, and then start designing the uh, uh, the core of the stations. I'm not going to go ahead and try to make this big elaborate station all at once. I'm going to do it you know over time. So I'm going to get up you know like, like a crew compartment, um, a couple of cathane converters on each one. Uh, pretty much have a mirror, and then I'm going to design a, uh, as, as good as I can a, a shuttle system to go between the two stations so I can easily get to uh, one place or the other. You know, and, and design a, a vehicle that can leave the surface of the moon and go to the station and return relatively easy. Hopefully, all, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can do it all in one stage because there's hardly any gravity um, compared to the surface of Kerbin on the surface of the moon, so uh, it won't take that much. Um, and that way we can uh, take Cathane up and uh, bring Kerbals or whatever back and you know back and forth back and forth from the surface and the shuttle itself is pretty much going to be um, just like a uh, a regular fuel tank, a Cathane fuel tank uh, maybe a converter or two and crew storage that's pretty much and maybe some docking points to, if I need to bring some things from point A to point B or whatever uh, but it's just going to be a basic you know what they call shuttle you know it's just going to be able to it's never going to be um, on the surface of anything, so I don't have to worry about landing it. Once I get it up into orbit, it's going to stay there, you know, either at station A or station B. So yeah, that, that's the that's the goals. Um, what I'm probably going to do um, is let the video finish out, uh, throw some music up. But guys, I appreciate you watching. And stay tuned. We got some big plans coming up in the future, so stay tuned. Appreciate you watching.